You know you don't always have to look like your problems, right? Today I'm going to give you simple tips on how you can always look polished and put together on a budget. Hi loves, welcome back to my channel. My name is Gladys. Today we are going to talk about a very interesting and super important topic. Today we'll be discussing about how to look polished and put together on a budget. With that being said, let's go ahead and start the video. It goes without saying that we live in a world where people judge us by how we look. I don't know if I'm supposed to feel bad about this, but sadly, this is life and this is how it is. And I'm sure also you out there who you're watching my video right now, you do judge people by how they look. I feel like it's very important to take care of your looks. Looks are very important. The way you carry yourself, the way you take care of yourself says a lot about you even before you start talking. Now, the first thing you want to do to always look put together is to take care of your skin. Have you ever seen someone who looked so good but then their skin looked like they've never put lotion on their body? It's really sad to be honest like seeing someone looking all good and then their skin doesn't look nice the first thing you want to do is to take care of your skin buy a nice lotion moisturize your skin make sure your skin is always speaking and being taken care of even before you start talking still on skin you want also to know how to take care of your overall body you know we are not only talking about um, your face of course you want to take care of your face you want to make sure that you're drinking water and all of those good stuff you are having a simple and not really complicated or rather extreme skincare routine you have a minimal skincare routine that you're always keeping your skin on check Next thing I would love to add on this is your hair. Taking care of your hair, it's very important. You know these things, people are seeing them. We are not really focusing on how people see us. It's just about how you are putting yourself out there. Take care of your hair. That requires you to be washing your hair often, whether it is maybe doing simple braids, cleaning up your braids, you know before when i used to do when i used to braid my hair right now i have my natural locks but i remember when i used to braid my hair during those days i didn't know that you're supposed to wash your braids i didn't know so i would wear my braids for one month as gross as this sounds and I will, uh, the only time that i'll be washing my hair is after maybe a month and just imagine and I remember when we are doing the braids there's a lot of oil buildups like even the hair smells I'm telling you hair smells and it smells horrible for the girls who wear wigs whether it is for people like me who wear uh, who have dreadlocks you need to maintain a very very high cleaning maintenance for your hair because you know people are saying it you're also seeing it and you don't want to be looking good but then your hair puts the whole thing off next thing that i want to touch on is nails when it comes to nails please oh my goodness nails nails they are so important nails tells a lot about a person have you ever looked at a person that they look so cute but then when you look at their nails down here there is a black build up of that inside you feel like taking a toothpick and just removing for them it's horrible it's sad it's really dirty because if you cannot take care of your nails what then i can only imagine how your house looks i can only imagine how your bathroom looks if you cannot take care of your hands your nails you want to make sure that your nails are always well trimmed i understand we are all different people have different preferences there are people who always love um putting on nail extensions which is not a bad thing there are people who love acrylics there are people who love um, having their own natural nails right now i'm not putting on any nail extensions i am having my own natural nails but i don't have any nails i've cut them like i feel like i'm better off this way at the moment before i can do my nails when we're speaking about nails you don't have to be doing exaggerated long nails they for me they don't really look put together I'm so sorry if this will offend you for the girls who love putting long like crazy long nails for me that does not scream class polished or put together I don't know what to call that but if you're looking more into being polished looking put together you want to make sure like you are maintaining maybe a good length of nails whether it's your natural nails acrylics and so forth still speaking of nails there's this one that maybe you are, you've put polish before some of the nails the polish is half others they look weird you'd rather not even have anything to do with polish because it screams that it 
oh my goodness it's it's horrible please just stay away from that next thing and the most important where now this is actually the part where we're like okay now this is it because this is where we actually look at people and we're like okay is learning how to dress your body the reason why i'm saying learning how to dress your body is because something that might look good on another woman might not specifically look good on me and that means also i do not have or you do not have to keep on buying something or clothes that you see maybe people whether it's influencers or someone online showing showing you and you know very well that it does not go with your body the trick is to learn how to dress your body whether you're gonna have to explore different clothes and um, all of that do that i have completely changed my wardrobe i'll say at this point i am leaning more into neutral outfits and um um like i have completely changed my wardrobe i'll say and i love it so much i do not have a lot a lot of clothes like i used to before which i don't even know why i was having so many clothes but i do have pieces in my wardrobe that i can play around mix and match and come up with different beautiful gorgeous outfits now the trick here is to know what works for you know how to dress your body you do not have to wear high-end clothes you do not have to wear designer clothes for you to look good with your clothes I have seen beautiful timeless pieces thrifted i go to thrift shops and i find very gorgeous pieces that even when you go there you will not really spot someone wearing something like that it's unique it looks so good something else that i would love to add on this is make it a habit not to leave your house looking unpolished looking like you like you don't really care about how you look it's very important whether you are going outside to buy uh, groceries you are going to run errands you are going to get um, milk to make breakfast please put some effort in how you look i don't really understand why at this point there are still people who go outside i don't know to buy stuff and they are wearing bonnets on their head i still don't understand why you are going outside just because you're going to buy breakfast and you're still wearing pajamas like why why i still don't get it and i feel like it's very important because you never know who you're gonna meet outside you like you just want to look the part you want to look like someone who when someone asks you okay uh have you seen um have you seen how she looks so good today and then someone will be like oh she always looks good i've never seen you looking and kept and unfortunate no matter what you're going through life happens for everyone yes we all have problems I have my own problems but you do not have to look like your problems make an effort to always leave your house looking your best now still on outfit and all of that i'm gonna have to add accessories accessories can move your outfit from zero to ten real quick when it comes to accessories you want to know how to play around with accessories again less is more in everything i am a believer of not having to do too much for you to look good you can go with some cute earrings a uh, simple necklace and a, just simple jewelry you don't have to fill your whole hand with bangles sometimes i feel like it looks ridiculous especially when it's not matching your outfit find what works for you but try and accessorize wear the necklace wear the cute earrings like just try and make it minimal you don't have to do too much again but still just find what works for you if you feel like you do you don't like wearing necklaces but you love um wearing earrings just do that for me i love earrings so much i don't want to say obsessed i'm not really obsessed but i just love earrings so much i love having different types of earrings i love trying it's just where my heart is i don't even own a lot of necklaces but i do have a lot of earrings and uh, i feel like my necklaces the ones i think i have four and i feel like they are enough for all my outfits but when it comes to earrings that is where my heart is and you just have to find what works for you next is makeup again we are different and uh for me i'm gonna speak for myself at this point because um i feel like there are some girls who do love makeup they like there are ladies out there they will never leave their house without having to put makeup on which is not a bad thing and there are also women out there who love being natural like you will never find them with makeup and it's absolutely beautiful as well i am not really a person who wears makeup every single day but when i do it's very less you will hardly like i can not i can be standing there but you will not spot makeup on my face i love keeping it very minimal because for me i 
feel and i'm gonna mention this again that less is more even when it comes to makeup find a makeup routine that works for you it's not bad even if you always love being natural it's not bad to uh, like doing a natural bit on your face and then it it you know it just feels good find a makeup that works best for you if you don't know how to do your makeup there are tutorials i'm not an expert in doing my makeup but i find simple ways i do my makeup that looks good for me and i love it now you can as well go ahead and do the same for you next is staying organized when it comes to looking good and polished and all of that good stuff it doesn't necessarily mean we are talking about just your looks it says a lot more even when you have an organized place whether your house is big or small you do not have an excuse of having an tidy place i am so big on like having your place clean if your house is clean if your bathroom is clean of course you expect such a person to also apply that kind of organization onto their overall looks like how they look how they carry themselves and all of that stuff if your house on the other hand you hardly take time to clean your house you hardly take time to organize your bathroom clean your bathroom on a regular basis you hardly take time to even clean your fridge take time to organize your wardrobe things look all over the place it just tells a lot about how you are and it just goes without saying that you don't really make an effort to always look good and polished i understand sometimes life happens like sometimes you're not in a good mental state to clean i've been there i've been there where like i didn't feel like cleaning i've been there where i was struggling to even like dress up and um, like even go to the bathroom it's hard now this is another side where of course you're gonna take it easy on people who are there on that mental state where you're like you don't know what's wrong but you're not really feeling it it's life it happens for everyone but if you are there and you know you are doing okay it's just laziness and you just don't feel like doing it get up and organize your space get up and organize your life organize your wardrobe find pieces to put yourself together and look good and look polished it doesn't take so much to do that next is confidence confidence is a topic that i feel like maybe later in time we are gonna have to talk about it because i have struggled with self-confidence for a very long time and i'm sure it's a struggle for other people out there too there are people who are super confident have you ever met someone who was so confident and you were like how do they do it and then you even felt scared to talk to them like their confidence were up there where you're like wow how do they do it how do they carry themselves with so much confidence they look so good because a confident person looks good i'm not talking about those people who are arrogant and then they try to make it seem like they are confident but it's not really confident it's arrogance i'm talking about real confident people it looks so good i can't really say i am there yet with my confidence but i can honestly say that i'm not where i used to be when it comes to my confidence now sometimes you can fake it you can fake your confidence and even if deep down you're like oh my god i'm scared and all of that you can fake it sometimes you can fake it honestly and uh, with that you take a gradual process step by step you're like okay you're gonna walk with your head high you're gonna look people straight in the eye you're gonna look yourself straight in the eye on that mirror sometimes it's very serious that you can't even look at yourself direct in the mirror because like you're struggling so much with confidence but confidence also plays a huge role in how you carry yourself in how you look i know it's a struggle for many but with gradual steps we can we can be there we can be somewhere and that was it for today's video guys i hope this video was super helpful please as usual keep this conversation going down on the comment section below i would love to learn from you i want to read more comments on how we can look good and polished out there even on a budget without having to do too much without having to spend so much there is a misconception about when it comes to looking good that you have to spend money you have to do what not and i don't necessarily believe you have to spend a lot of money to look good don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't and i'll see you on the next video bye